you can insert a little bit of clear PVC hose in the, in the system and then run the engine. And if you see air bubbles, in the, you know that the air leak is on that side of the system. Hello and welcome to another session of our Ask the Expert series here at Boat How To. I'm Jan Attenstedt and we're talking to Nigel Calder. Hi. Today's question is the following. My engine has developed a nasty habit of occasionally dying when underway. I'm somehow getting air in the fuel supply, but I can't figure out where and how. Do you have any thoughts on how to trace the source of the air? Okay, well, what's your thought? Yes, that can be really frustrating air leaks. Uh, and uh, I'm guessing this is probably a conventionally mechanically injected engine, an older engine. One way to do this is if we think about fuel system, we have a tank and then we have a primary filter, or we should have, and then we have a, some kind of a lift pump. So up to that point, we're sucking. If you can break a hose loose between the tank and the lift pump and you can insert a little bit of clear PVC hose in the, in the system, and then run the engine. And if you see air bubbles, in the, you know that the air leak is on that side of the system. That eliminates that issue. And then, uh, of course, it could be on the other side of the system where we're pumping from the lift pump through to the injection pump and then up to the injectors. The most common cause of air leaks on that, intermittent air leaks like this on that side of the system is uh, in the leak off pipes from the injectors. Uh, very often they come back to the secondary filter and then from there, there's a feedback to the fuel tank. And there's often a potential for air to get into the system on that side of it. You can often solve that by disconnecting the leak-off pipe from the secondary filter and feeding it directly back to the tank. Uh, but for, lastly, I, and I should have mentioned this first, if this problem arose after you did a filter change, then most likely you've got an air leak at the filter housing. You just didn't seat the uh, O-ring properly or you didn't tighten it up properly or whatever. So if it was after you've just done filter changes, then go back and take a look at the filters. Uh, but if not, then look at the other things we've just discussed. All right. Well, thanks, Nigel, for your take on that. And if you want to learn more about diesel engines and how to troubleshoot them, check out our new marine diesel engine maintenance course at boathowto.com. See you soon.